Hi, welcome back to the channel. I'm Matt, M0DQW, and this is Tech Mind. So a bit of software that I want to show you guys today is called WF View. Now, it's a free bit of software, runs on your computer, multi-platform, which is absolutely great, and it allows you to remotely control the Zygu X6200. Now, this is a fairly new SDR radio, which has come to the market. It's been announced quite some time ago. There's quite a few people that have played around with the prototype of this radio and there's quite a few videos already on YouTube. Now I haven't really spent a lot of time on this radio, well not as much as I'd like. There are a few things that I like already and there's a few things that I don't which will probably come out in another video in the near future. But the software that I want to show you, WFU, it runs on your computer and it allows you to remotely control the X200 across your Wi-Fi network. So let's get into it, I'll show you how to set up the radio first. So first we need to connect the X6200 to my local area network and for this connection we can use Wi-Fi. So press the system button and then use that lower left outer dial to select WLAN. Now just press on the top of that dial to enter the Wi-Fi settings. Now mine is already connected but if your radio is not already associated with a Wi-Fi connection then you can just press the scan button which will eventually provide a list of all seen Wi-Fi connections available in your area. You then just need to enter the password into the password field and then press connect. Make sure to enable DHCP just to make it easy to connect to the network or you can actually define your own IP address, gateway and DNS server if that's something that you want to do. And once connected just press the exit button and then just use the outer rotary control to select WF server. Then just press on that dial to enter the WF server configuration. Now I just left everything here as default as it was the most easiest option to do. Of course, you will need to remember the username and password that's shown here on the screen so that when we set up WFU software on the computer, we can use these credentials. The default ports are okay to use unless you're already using these ports on your network. Then of course you can change them here. Now finally, just press that start button. And once you press the start button and the server starts, you notice the background will change to green and the text will turn to stop. Now this means that it's now running. So it's time to head over to the computer where we can install the software. So first we'll just head over to wfview.org website to download the software. Now it might be worth taking a couple of minutes to browse this website so that you can get a feel of what this software does and of course meet the developers. Head to the download page where you'll be presented with a few download options and these options are to choose which operating system that you're using. So yep, this application is actually multi-platform. Now I've not tested this application on anything apart from Windows 64 bit, but you do have the option to either download Linux, Mac OS, Windows x86 or Windows x64 versions. So they pretty much cover the most popular operating systems. Now once downloaded and running, you'll need to head to the settings page where we need to make some changes. So first change the radio connection type to network. Then enter the IP address of your X6200 into the hostname box. You can normally find out the IP address that's connected to your local Wi-Fi network by just visiting the internet router's device page you should then see the X6200 listed there with an IP address next to it. Now under hostname, you need to enter a username. Now, as I didn't change this on the WF server on the radio itself, I left it as default. So for me, I've entered user here and the same goes for the password box. This is as per the radio settings, which in my case was one, two, three. Now make sure to set the audio output and input drop downs to the sound card that you're using on the computer. Once you're ready, you can click the connect to radio button at the bottom of the screen and you should start to hear the audio from your radio. You can then switch the view tab to view the waterfall and control the radio. From Papa Hotel, one Zulu and, um, and we meet again. Bye bye. Yeah, fantastic. You're just peeking over the night on the vertical, so uh, certainly better with the vertical to me. Thanks again, 7-3. 73, you also better, my US signal is better on my vertical than on my loop, eh? 73, bye bye. 73, thanks very much indeed. Thank you for calling in, QRZ. Yeah, 2 EZ, IJT returning. Yeah, your, um, your call sign nearly confused me. It's um, the, D, the Delta Zulu Bravo is um, 
very similar to my um, M7 call sign, which I, um, I surrendered earlier on in the week. Um, the scope and waterfall will update in real time, and to change frequency, you can use the scroll wheel on your mouse, or you can use that little rotary control that's next to the frequency display. You can also change the increments right here to make it either tune faster or slower. Now, lots of controls are available here, like RF gain, audio levels, squelch, transmit power, and mic gain. You can also enable or disable the preamp over here on the right hand side. Now, there's a separate tab at the top titled Bands. Now, this allows you to choose whichever band you want to work with. You can also direct dial a frequency if you find that quicker. Now, the Zygu X6200 has an inbuilt ATU, and of course, you can enable it or disable it, or even activate the tune process through this software. Now, transmitted audio, i.e., audio that's transmitting from your computer to the radio or through the radio, well, that's kind of a little bit strange. And the reason why I say that is because at the moment, I could only get the audio to work when the data tick box was ticked under the mode selection. However, when that's selected, the audio doesn't sound very crisp, not compared to when you're kind of using a microphone on the radio itself. Take a quick listen to this. Now, for those wondering why anyone would use this software and not just use the radio directly, well, I'll let you go and ponder on that yourself because I'm sure with whatever I say, one of you will have an issue with it. But in my opinion, it's an option that's available whether you use it or not. It didn't cost you any extra money. Anyway, guys, just a quick overview of the WF View application, working with the X6200 across your network. Until the next video, thanks for watching. Stay safe and I'll see you guys in the next video.